Hey there, Tall Man Clan. We are at the Florida RV Super Show, and the video review that you're about to watch is a segment of a longer stream that we did. So it's not going to be as detailed as our normal long form content, but we hope you enjoy. So this is uh, on the high end scale for fifth wheels, okay, from a pricing standpoint, so you get an idea. All right, so normal MSRP, you're right around 200, show pricing about 144. This model is the 4200 FL. There's the floor plan. It's a front living room, it's what FL stands for. And we'll go inside in just a minute, but let's start on the outside. So one of the things that is kind of neat about Redwoods is they put slat wall in the underbelly storage area, okay? Um, these are all drop frame. Remember we had the conversation yesterday about drop frames. The drop frame is, you know what, let's, let's see. I, I bet we can do this. So there's the, the frame of the main body. See that steel? And if we were to just follow that straight across, I'm not moving my gimbal, it's following straight across, that frame would be sitting right here. But as you see, that would limit your storage. So the main frame stops right about here and they add what's called the drop frame is another steel beam beneath it, underneath. Yeah, you probably can't see it. Let me see. We, yeah, it's all sealed up there. So they add that other frame under there so that you can get more storage. And so as you can see, I love that. Can we give that back to Lisa? Well, hey there, puppy. Hey, puppy. Well, I'll make you famous. I'll make you famous. <laughs> All right, 30-pound protein pank. All right. This is a six-point hydro uh, hydraulic leveling system. This is a big boy. We'll get around. Uh, we might be able to get around to the other side to see the weight. Okay. Um, a whole manifold system for your water. And so you can easily isolate every water fixture in the coach. If there's an issue, you can turn it off. All right, let's go uh, just sort of here, frameless windows, full body paint. Your upright, uh, um, upgraded, excuse me, uh, Moride suspension. And in this model, the entire back is storage. We could make good use of that, Lisa. We certainly could. We could make great use of that. All right, let's go around the other side. The other thing that I like about these, it looks like a class A going down the street, doesn't it? It look like a normal fifth wheel. I just like how it's done. All right, so you can see there's a ladder there. There's also a utility hitch on there if you wanna put a, a rack back here to tow like a golf cart or something, but not too heavy. I'm not sure what the weight uh, limit on this. Um, it's posted, I just can't get down there to see it because I have my backpack on, okay? Your power is over here, it's on an automatic reel. You can see the reel in there, so all you have to do is push the button and the power retracts up into the coach. Here are the doors for the other side of the coach. Um, it does say cons sewer connection, so let's take a peek at that. Um, it's got to be, oh, it's down there. So there's a connection for your waste tank right down there. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's another one down here underneath this slide. Okay. Now, of course, typically you're gonna connect those before the slides go out, which is not a problem because if you have to dump your pulls, well, your pulls are typically up here. I do believe the pulls are normally right there, but they don't have them in here yet. And I'm not sure why that would be, but the pulls are not visible down there, so they gotta be in this area here, okay? Um, and this would be your other protein pank, 30 pounder, and then let's get the weight. So, unloaded, this thing weighs 16,000 pounds. Fully loaded, 19,000 pounds, right? 16,000, 19,000. So you can put 3,000 pounds of cargo in there, okay? Watch your head. If you wanna show this too, I love to see this, all right? There's always some front storage in all fifth wheels. They have this one subdivided because normally front storage is, is normally meant for utility. Like if you wanna put a generator, you're gonna put it up in here. Okay, in fact, does this actually have a generator? I don't know, let's see. Nope, your batteries are in that one. And this one, is it locked now? Okay, this is where the generator would go right here. It's all pre-wired and everything for it, okay? But it wastes a lot of space up top. So they have subdivided this, and so you can still put some storage and stuff up here. I love that, okay? Of course, you got your Moride upgraded pin box as well. All right, now the power is off in here, so it's gonna be a little bit dark. I apologize right away, okay? But uh, FL stands for front living. 
Wow, look at this TV, Lisa. That's Holy mackerel. I'm going to get back here in the seat so you can just see how big that is. That is pretty big. That's got to be at least 65. Yeah. That's unbelievable. That's, yeah. that's actually, I mean, that's a 47 inch fireplace beneath it. Wow. Right? Yeah. Wow, that is huge. Okay. All wood cabinetry. The finishes are amazing. I wish the lights were on. Hopefully, we can find one with the lights on so that you can see what this is. That's a pullout sofa right here that Lisa's on. There's a pullout over here as well. So you have opposing pullouts. Mm -hmm. I was sitting on the um, the theater chairs, which are fully electric. See all the buttons right there, okay, inside the cup holders. All right, down to the kitchen and dinette. Okay, beautiful kitchen, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so let me let me get to this side here. Yeah, look at this. This is nice. Yeah, very nice. Um, love the island. We have a nice single basin sink that is stainless, tall faucet. We have a soap dish. Yeah, there. it's cool. It's soap, it's soap dispenser. We have the keys. Oh, we've got the keys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it home now. Right. And under the island, we have storage drawers. We have pull out trash. Yeah, nice. We have space underneath the sink and some more storage drawers over here. You see what you pulled, pulled down over here on the counter uh, uh, behind you? Look at this. Pull down behind Look at that. me. Look at that. It's a little place for storing uh, utensils. utensils and things or knives yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Love that. That's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. Solid surface countertops. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. Nice residential four burner stove with an oven. We have a huge microwave. Um, these are both insignia. This is a convection. convection. Yep. All right over here, by the way, you got places to put some wine bottles. Uh huh. Uh, sort of a sidebar, maybe a coffee bar if you want, right? Absolutely. That's what might use it for. I would think so. Or for a blender for mixing cocktails, right? Mm -hmm. Put your Vitamix up there. Yeah. Or, or whatever you happen to have. Just wine glasses, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tons of storage. And here's sort of a place maybe you put your keys or your wallet or whatever right when you come in. It's where sort of the command center is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then yeah, you just nice have this little, this little um, yeah. spot there for, you, you know, know, little cubby. Yeah. yeah. Maybe your purse, yeah. cookbooks, magazines. Here's your dinette. You can seat four. You see the leaf is out and actually pulls out a little bit more. <clears throat> You've got, uh, oh, look at that little bench right by the door. <laughs> yeah, so if you can put some shoes underneath there. You That's can. also like a coat rack. Yep. You've got a couple of octopus hangers up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought that might be a chalkboard, but it's, I don't think it is. I don't think it is don't either. Think, it it's hard like to see because it's dark in here, but I think it's just dark wood grain. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's go up here into the bedroom. One step up. Look at this place. Hang on, let, let me let me back up into here. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah, this is nice. So this is, as you can see, retractable back, which mm -hmm. is cool to sit if you want to watch TV, but it gives you much more space during the day. Mm -hmm. And so you, you you could have side-by-side -side yoga going on in here. You could, totally. Right? His and hers yoga. Big mm -hmm. uh, storage underneath. Right. It's awesome. Okay. Um, a nice big mirror over here as well. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. We are looking at Redwoods right now. We right? are. You do have power, uh, at least the uh, USB charging ports. Yep. Um, and your power is on that side. Yep, and a okay. little shelf on each side. Across from uh, the bed, nine drawers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Insane amount of drawers. Yeah. Right, and a nice TV as well, by the way. Okay, um, you have some hanging space here. Nice hanging space, so you can hang some long things up in there. And then we get back into the bathroom. So we got a tall cabinet, which I'm assuming is washer dryer prep. Yep. Currently the other chairs for the, the dinette are there, but that is your washer dryer prep. Okay, so I'd put your stackable in there. Okay. And then you've got some more sort of um, potential wardrobe space, and that's what I'm sure it's meant for. All right, all the way down here you have some I would put towels and things, I think, in there, don't you? I would agree. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then this is the other side of that, that closet. Correct. Okay. Um, single basin, under counter mount, as you can see. We've got six drawers, two doors. That actually is solid surface. Yeah, yeah, it's a molded. Okay. Yeah, molded. it's not even under counter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got a couple of medicine chests, his and hers, mm -hmm. for all them drugs. <laughs> and that's probably yeah, five inches. Yeah, five inches deep. There you go. I'm gonna give this to Lisa so I can crawl in. All right. I didn't sit on the toilet. There was no need to. There's no. a huge amount of space here. There's I mean, a ton of space. <laughs> huge <laughs> amount of space in here, guys. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. As well as in the shower, there's plenty of room in here too. Right, it's nice and tall. I, know, I love that the fixture is up high. Right. Um, and so I don't feel inhibited at all being six foot four. And so if you're a tall person, this is a really nice shower. Yes, it is. Yep. Very nice. All right. So that's the 4200, everybody. Okay. Redwood 4200 FL. 
Okay, we're gonna look at a couple more. Yeah, 